Oh my goodness, I just love to watch two big strong men blowing all day. Leaves that is in the yard. It's so relaxing to watch. Me too. Get back in the box. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> we'll just pretend that didn't happen and get on with the show. Alright, you guys are lucky. Because on this one, you're going to get a two for one. We'll clean this up. So, uh, this one's a cool one. Massive amount of leaves, and we're going to push them all off that hill. And uh, so we're doing that. We're doing that without the ferris because uh, it wouldn't start up. We're mulching up some leaves, and then I've been having an issue with one of the safety switches all year. So I just dropped it off at the shop, and uh, I'm letting them fix it because we got stuff to do, man. We're busy. So back here is the only spot that I would really, really need a mower. If I have to, I'll mulch it up. Oh, they just put a a new gate back there double wide gate so we can shoot the leaves right out that gate that's nice that is nice and uh yeah so i'll probably use a 36 for rounding them up back here but other than that everything's getting shoved off that hill and yeah so that's that so there was a point in time where if one of my mowers went down, I would have to freak out and take several hours to fix it. And I gotta say, as we're getting better in business, I just don't have to do that anymore. It's really nice. At a certain point, what about your day? Make money and uh, just make it happen. So we're gonna go ahead and get to it. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'll walk you back here. So all this in this yard, and it's a big yard we get to push off this hill it's the one property i have like this and it's awesome uh i'm not gonna stack them up i did that a few years ago to take a cool picture and then i had trouble finding out where the end of the hill was and i was using my mower to plow it off the edge and uh anyway so when we're done man this this hill will be extended like another four or five feet but after a while it'll wash out and it is what it is that's horrible for the environment. Shut up. <laughs> we don't have to haul any way off of this. They get charged time. All my clients, I bill all my clients on time when it comes to leaf cleaning up. So, yeah. Alright, so we're doing two lawns back to back. We got both backpack blowers working together. We're pushing massive piles and uh, it just it's cleaning up really quick and really easy with this little wonder parking lot blower. So, you know, I really like this tool. This is new to us this year. We've been kind of figuring out how it works best for our company. I bought it used from a buddy of mine, but uh, you know, what we're doing here is I'm actually pushing it and it's shooting out forward and I'm pushing it while using an 8010 and my brother's got an 8010 and we're both just pushing these leaves off the hill no problem now what we're doing is we're using the 8010s to funnel those in front of the uh, little wonder because it's got so much more pushing power so with all three of them together I mean we've got a lot of wind force um, but basically we're kind of corralling them in and then the little wonder is our main pushing source so yeah uh, using it that way we're really able to move a lot of leaves all at once this is a pretty big yard 
And uh, we, we're, I mean, we're lucky we get to push them off the hill in this case. If we had to haul them away, that's a lot of leaves. And, uh, you know, today wasn't too bad. We're fighting the wind a little bit. But, you know, if it was wet, that would be no fun, especially if you had to haul them off. I'm talking about a lot of weight in your setup. So, you know, overall, I, I really like this job. It's one of the few that we have that we get to blast them off a hill. You know, I get to see people on YouTube all the time, and I get it in the comments all the time. Push them into the wood lines. Why don't you just push them into the wood lines? Well, dude, I work in an urban area, and there's privacy fences on every yard. And if there's not a privacy fence, there's a chain link fence. And I don't have the option to push them into the wood line. So for us, we've got a uh, billy goat leaf loader on our truck, and we shoot all the leaves into the back of our truck bed. Now the reason why I like to shoot them into the back of my truck bed is uh, I like to keep a mower with me, and this parking lot blower, and my backpack blowers, and all that stuff. Obviously you need blowers for leaf removal, but I like the versatility of having a variety of equipment, and for me... Um, Putting the leaves in the back of the truck has always been better. Now, uh, something I don't like about my current setup is that it's got a regular truck bed with a box built on the back. I like the box, but I don't like the truck bed. I would have rather had a uh, flat bed on there. You know, a lot of people would say, why don't you have a dump bed or a dump trailer? Well, again, I don't have a dump trailer because of versatility. Uh, you know, I don't have, I don't want to drive two trucks around you know a lot of the times you'll see uh, a lot larger companies companies that aren't doing residential so much as they are commercial you know they'll pull around um, a dedicated leaf box which is their dump trailer you can't put a mower in there and then they'll have another truck pulling mowers and stuff like that so they can clean up really wide areas so with residentials a lot of my residentials that I'm cleaning up we're cleaning up uh, you know 15,000, 20,000 square foot max. So, you know, a mower is really nice to have on that, but uh, you don't necessarily need a mower for it. So you could get away with just using a, um, a couple backpack blowers and pushing them out to your truck. But I have found that in a lot of situations, it is very, very nice to have a mower. So especially for like backyards, because a lot of the times, if you think if this yard here was uh, all fenced in and we weren't pushing it off the hill well we would have to round these leaves up into piles so that we could move them up front or we would have to blow them all up front now being that it's such a massive amount of leaves we wouldn't want to blow it all up front so we would probably you know either blow it into piles and then tarp it and then drag it up front or we would use a mower like a big rake and use the mower to shoot everything into a pile by discharging it into a centralized location which uh, works for, look at all these acorns, dude. Uh, which works really, really well, though, if you were to go that route. Uh, the big plus side to using a mower to round up the leaves is it's going to work a lot faster than a rake. You know, I get asked quite a bit in all my leaf videos, especially from people from uh, European countries that are really uh, environmentally friendly. Uh, I get it. I don't care. I'm not saying I don't care about the environment, but if it is legal for me to use a massive blower, I'm going to use it. And the argument of, you know, hey, uh, is that backpack blower? You know, is that backpack blower there? That thing puts out an, as much emissions in 30 minutes as a car does driving for four hours. That argument is stupid. It's dumb. It's dumb. I, I get it. I've seen the articles based off of two-stroke engines from the 80s <laughs> but it's just not true man it's just not true uh, if you if you think about engine displacement okay I'm working with an 80 cc engine all right and your car much much bigger much bigger okay I know two-stroke puts off more emissions because it's burning oil but it's not the 80s anymore if you remember like old two-stroke stuff, it would smoke. It's not the 80s. Okay? So uh, when they're getting better with emissions on one thing, they're getting better on emissions on a lot of different things. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I would want to use the mowers to round up the leaves in the backyard 
And the big, big plus to using the mower to round up the leaves in the backyard is that it's going to condense them. It's going to shred them up and reduce the size. Because if you just blow them into a pile, what you're going to end up with is like four or five massive six foot, ten foot high piles that are like 20 feet wide. But if you, on a yard like this, but if you run a mower over it, it'll reduce the size by shredding it up. Now I use gator blades all year long. They're a type of mulching blade and they work really, really well. Uh, I know some guys don't like to run them all season. I run them all season. I just get multiple pairs and uh, we swap them out, we sharpen them a lot. And then during leaf season, I just absolutely destroy them. Whatever set looks worst at the end of the year, well, that's the, that's the one that's getting used during leaf season and they don't get touched until spring. I just tear them up. You're gonna run over sticks and twigs and um, gumballs and uh, gumball is a type of um, well, I don't know if it's like a nut. It's like from a tree. It's just trash. The tree drops, you know. Um, but sticks and acorns and you know pine cones and all sorts of stuff, right? Because you don't really know what's in these leaf piles. You know, like today, uh, not this video here, obviously, but today that uh, I guess obviously you don't know what I'm saying, obviously. Anyways, uh, today when I was out working, not while I was talking about this video when I was out working today I hit a stump with my 61 inch mower and thankfully it was cut down a long time ago so it was real spongy and it didn't do any damage to the mower but it could have and it could have done a lot of damage to the blade so you know that's something that you you just have to think about this time of year you're probably gonna trash out your blades um, at the end of the year at the end of the season though uh, my blades are normally pretty good I keep a set per day and uh, during the spring, I'll swap them out every day. And it, you know, I even used to uh, swap them out like midday sometimes, if, you know, when I was cutting bi-weekly yards and it would get real wet. So that's something to consider. But during leaf season, you're, you're normally cutting up leaves and they, they do real well regardless on whether they're sharp or not. So once they were uh, piled up, then we could tarp them and then drag them up front. Now, if it's in the backyard, and they're kind of wet a lot of the times I'll use a mower to pull them so that it doesn't wear out my body but uh, you know if it's light enough then I'll drag it up front my my bad habits though uh, I like to get bigger tarps so that I don't have to take as many trips and it happens every year I get bigger tarps because I've gotten the smaller six foot by like eight foot or six by six and then you're like oh man I can barely fit anything on this little baby tarp so then I get these you know 12 by 12 tarps or 12 by 10 or you know bigger tarps one time I got one that was real big that was a mistake the thing is you don't really think about how heavy leaves are I mean they, you just don't think about them being heavy right because you pick up a leaf and they're real light it's kind of like picking up feathers but if you get a ton of them together you ever pick up like a uh, feather pillow and you're you know it's it's pretty heavy or an older feather pillow I don't know I've, I've, I've had feather pillow. Yeah, it's not a good example. You see, sometimes that happens to me. Anyways, the, the point being, when you have these leaves that are all shred up, mulched up, and you put them on a tarp, you might get four, five, six hundred pounds on there sometimes. And you're going to have to use a machine to pull it, or you're going to have to trash out your legs. If you have somebody else working with you, you're probably going to trash yourself out and them. So that's why I like to use uh, a mower. And for a long time, I worked uh, solo during leaf season. You know, I always had someone during the main part of the season. Then we slowed down in like September, October, and then I would be solo during leaf season. So I just got used to having, you know, more equipment. That's kind of how I adapted myself. In this case, hey, man, like I said, we get to push them off the hill. And it makes for really satisfying work. Like this is one of my favorite leaf cleanups to do. And it's probably one of my ugliest yards I take care of, or at least in the back. So like during the summer... We don't really take care of, um, we don't really take care of much in the back. We just don't have to. Uh, we do cut everything on every visit. So whenever we take care of a property, I have, I've had this asked in the past too. Uh, do I take care of just the front, you know, if the back's not growing or that kind of thing. I don't ever let the client uh, dictate how we perform service. Um, and what I mean by that is we show up and we take care of everything. If you want us to mow for you, we're taking care of the front yard, the backyard. Because there's nothing worse than your client telling you, oh, it doesn't need cut this week, skip it, skip it, skip it. You show up and it's three or four foot high in the backyard and they want it cut for the same price. 
and that's just not gonna happen. All right, so all of that only took 51 minutes. I would say that's, uh, that's pretty good. That was a lot of leaves, man. I don't know if it really, really catches on, but when this place gets trashed out with leaves to the point, grass just doesn't really grow back here. It's real sandy soil. Well, last year when we flooded out, this creek broke the banks on that side and uh, everything from the neighborhood was washing through here like crazy. This was flowing through like, you know, white rapid type stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, a lot of leaves. So what do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of that little wonder? I picked that up used from a buddy. He bought it from um, Home Depot. So, you know, what you look at? There it is. And it's the uh, little Wander Optimax. And it's got, uh, it's got the Honda 270 on there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this backyard. I'm gonna go ahead and let you know ahead of time that uh, I lost some footage on here. I'm not quite sure what happens. I think I didn't hit the record button. So unfortunately you didn't get to see a whole lot of using the uh, X mark walk behind on rounding things up, but it kind of is what it is. So I'm coming in here and I'm gonna start making passes in a circle. And basically what I did is I broke the yard up into a few sections and then kicked it all towards this back backyard here swooping back there cleaning it out coming in cleaning it all up but like I said we're just getting it all around and then James once he gets the porch cleaned off he's gonna go hit the fence line and get everything to where the mower can hit it from there it's game on man it's just the mower just tears it up so when somebody's like yeah you should use a, a rake no I'm gonna get it to where a mower can use it I hardly ever use a rake all right um, very 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 rare uh, for me I pretty much just use rakes to uh, get debris onto tarps so that I can move it other than that uh, they just don't have much of a point and the reason why is you know I've got the equipment adapted for cleaning up leaves and it you know as a business owner it's not too much of an investment you get a couple uh, 80 tens and the right mowers and you're good to go but you know everybody's setup will adapt uh, you know over the years it's gotten better for me the cleanups have gotten a lot easier uh, I've fine-tuned what my setup is for me and as you grow your business you might find that your setup looks a little bit different or that you like a different setup you may be like a smaller mower or a bigger mower you're gonna end up fine-tuning your setup according to what type of work you do though got this one all the leaves those are the ones that's the side we pushed them off <clears throat> take two use take two all right, let's try this again. All right, so we got it all done. We got it looking good. We blew everything off the hill on that one. So this one's kind of cool. There's still a little bit of debris like around that tree. But look at all those leaves. And look at the 200 trees behind the houses. It's gonna be trashed out in a week. And guess where we're gonna be in a week? Back here, making it look good. So yeah, much, much better. And everything's looking, well, Everything is looking pretty sharp. It's not the greatest. We did get some new drop while we were doing it. Like I said, we got some leaves here. Let me get in close for you. That guy. That guy's just a hack. He does horrible work. I tell you what, he's he, he just doesn't do a good job at all. Man, sometimes people just want the bulk moved and they want it moved fast. The final clean up on each property is a uh, polishing pass and uh, even then it's not pristine you're gonna have a little bit of leaves here and there so back here looking much better we got again a few leaves but they're mulched and they'll settle in the grass and everything will look decent we don't mess with that back corner over there and you can't get the ones underneath the porch I used to try to do that kind of stuff because I was overzealous and then back here they put in the gate very kind of them it was just a little single gate which would have been a lot harder to push them out this is nice and wide i came back and i swooped in with the mower and just cut enough that we'd have some space there and then with shredding it well we probably got that with shredding it we probably got that to about a quarter 
of as many leaves would have been there it would have been for like <laughs> six foot wall of leaves if i hadn't used the mower overall i think it went very good i'm very thirsty i'm gonna go ahead and uh well we're gonna go ahead and go and uh go home take a shower Ha, 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 ha.